I've been using the iPad consistently since it was announced back in 2010. Over the last 12 years, I've been using everything from an original iPad all the way up to an M1 iPad Pro. But it was the iPad mini, that form factor that always intrigued me the most. And this new iPad mini 6 is arguably my favorite iPad of all time. What's up y'all, this is Henny. Yes, this is my favorite iPad of all time. The iPad mini 6, I promise you, this meets everything that I need in my daily iPad usage. And I wanna tell you why right now. Let's go! <laughs> So, yep, this is my iPad Mini 6, uh, 256 gigabyte variant in kind of that, you know, that pinkish color. Uh, I forget what they call it, but um, I've had it for a year and um, man, it's been quite the uh, iPad to take around, use every day, and it just does everything I really want an iPad to do. Let's get into that right now. When it comes to the form factor, this is arguably the biggest reason uh, it's one of the, my favorite iPads of all time. Um, it just is the right size. It can go anywhere, but it's big enough to really do things that you want to do. I bring this with me when I'm in the studio. This is my main music production iPad. I don't use my M1 iPad as much for music production, even though it's more powerful. I use this to consume content. Uh, I watch pretty much all the shows. Uh, I'll be on the couch with my AirPods or my AirPod Maxes, just chilling, watching a lot of content, YouTube and other things uh, on this device every day. I write a ton of notes on this iPad using my Apple Pencil 2. And everywhere I go, it's so easy to take with me. It's the form factor for me um, and the ability to have something like USB Type-C as the connectivity. Now, I had the original iPad mini, I had the iPad mini 5, and now with this iPad mini 6, with the redesign and the USB Type-C uh, connectivity allows me to do all the things that I would love to do with music production, as well as with things as like plugging in an SSD drive for doing, you know, small edits on LumaFusion on the go. Everything works just like it does on my iPad Pro, this gigantic... M1 iPad Pro from 2021, I believe. The latest version before the new ones probably are announced today, tomorrow, whenever this new event comes out and I drop this video. So plugging in audio interfaces, plugging in SSD drives, and any other things that I need on the go works so well. What can I say? It has the connectivity I want and the form factor I adore. Now, some of the specs like the Touch ID, versus Face ID, right? That hasn't bothered me at all. I, I mean, I'm used, I mean, you kind of have to get used to it at first using Touch ID again versus Face ID, but it hasn't been a problem. Having the A15 chip in here has allowed me to do all the things that I need to do without it truly giving me any hiccups. I use music production software like Cubasis 3, AUM, Blockswave, right? Koala Sampler, I use Beatmaker 3, I use LumaFusion, Notes, Let's see here. I do Zoom calls on this. There's so many things that I can do with this on a daily basis, and it does not give me any performance issues with the A15 chip. So from an everyday standpoint, I don't have any problems with the specs. I don't really have any problems with the connectivity. I don't have any problems with the form factor. You see what's happening, right? I'm building up the idea of like, I can take this anywhere. I can do all the things I need to do with it. That's what I want an iPad to do. Now for me, Having this close to my face, being able to watch content, being able to view content, being able to set this on a keyboard and do music production. And even if I really have to do some long form typing on, on this, you know, it's still very comfortable in the hands, either in landscape or portrait mode. So I don't necessarily have a problem with the screen size. My M1 iPad fully maxed out. It's a beast of a machine and my main uses for this now is to edit my video um just because all you have this at my desk right here it's easy i have all my plugins all my presets all the things that i do in LumaFusion, and it just this is just works really well 
for my use case and being able to use the keyboard. But on the go every day, I'm using the iPad mini 6 so much more because I'm not editing video every single day. And that's basically the main thing that I use my M1 iPad Pro for is video editing. So what can I say? I use this, you know, I'll take this right here. I just have the uh, folio case that I've had on it since I got it. Uh, I, I love this Peak Design pouch. I'll be talking about, you know, my everyday carry bag in a future video, but it can easily fit in here along with, you know, a camera, my keys, wallet, AirPods, and I'm on the go. Of course, my mask and hand sanitizer, all of those things. But you can see it just fits right there. It's on the go with me. I can take it anywhere and still create content, consume content, do music productions, all of those things. And it has the connectivity that I love. So how could this be better for me? Honestly, yes, if it had the inclusion of Face ID, that might make it a little bit more convenient. If it had more than 256 gigabytes of storage, that would make it a little bit more convenient. Of course, both of these things would probably increase the price. But, you know, for the most part, this iPad does so many things so well. And uh, I think that's why when people get their hands on it and they use something like this and they see how convenient it is to have such a powerful tool that's a little bit bigger than your phone, but not as big as a laptop, uh, it's so uh, it's just it's such a great tool to have. So I've been using this this entire year. Battery life has not been a problem. When I travel, this is the iPad that I bring with me. Um, and, you know, for the most part, I'm able to do all the things I need to do. And so I'm asking you, what is your favorite iPad of all time that you've used, that you've gotten into, and why? Because for me, um, this ticks so many boxes, and portability is usually at the, the high of my you know specs that I really want for a device like this. And uh, you know, hey, for for whatever it's worth, the iPad Pros are still amazing devices, but like I've said before. Um, they are so powerful, but the apps haven't been as powerful to, to balance that powerful device. And so if I can run all the apps that I need to run on a device like this with no hiccup, why not just take this? It's, it's more portable and it's easier to carry. That's basically all I got to say. My favorite iPad of all time is the iPad mini six today. Somebody could come out tomorrow and blow my mind and be like, yo, I got to try that. But I've tried everything from the original iPad all the way up to the latest M1s to now this iPad Mini 6. And uh, I will stand strong on my decision. I hope you guys are feeling well, staying safe. And just know, like I've talked about before, don't focus on just getting new gear just because you feel like you need it. Find those that just truly work for you and don't really cause you too much frustration and confusion to get going with them. Uh, you don't necessarily always need the newest, the latest, the greatest. Uh, my, my thing to you is to focus on what you actually need certain things for and uh, really dive deep in, in, and establish the muscle memory to make those things really work for you in your daily life. Y'all take care. I'll catch y'all next week, all right? Well, probably in a few days after we talk about this uh, Apple event that's about to come on, probably right after you watch this. <laughs> you probably watch this after the Apple event, but it's all good. Catch y'all next time. Hit him up!